Hello, I'm Rochelle with the Edwards team. We'll be talking about roommates today and how to protect yourself when renting out a room in your home. Ready? Let's go. With the cost of housing in our area, a lot of our first time buyers are opting to rent a room in their home to help cover the costs of home ownership on a single income. We totally get it and we want to share our tips for protecting your investment. Trust your gut. Not only will you be living with this person, you're going to be living with this person. Ask about employment, how long they've been there. Ideally, ask for a credit check. Find out their typical work schedule and make sure they won't be an opposite shift than you. Ask about their hygiene and cleaning habits. I'd even discuss a cleaning schedule while you're interviewing. Are they seeing someone? Will they be entertaining friends often? The biggest thing is to listen to and trust your gut. If you're getting a weird vibe, listen to your intuition and move on. Protect yourself with a lease. This means you need to draft a lease and have them sign. It's essential that you document the living arrangement to protect your investment. Seriously, I am not kidding. Reach out if you need help with this. It's vital to your financial future to protect yourself when sharing your home. Keep a paper trail and do not accept rent in cash. E-transfers and checks are an easy way to be able to prove they paid you monthly. Paper trails will be your best friend if you ever need to go to court. Be proactive and make that trail. Another note here is that you should also create receipts for your roommate and keep a copy for yourself. If you are sharing a bathroom and kitchen, be aware that the Landlord Tenancy Act does not apply. This means your roommate will not have tenant rights or access to the Landlord Tenant Board's resources, but neither will you. This is why having that lease is so important. Avoid getting romantically involved, and if you do decide to start a more personal relationship, even if it is just casual, you'll be putting yourself into a vulnerable position, legally speaking. If you don't have that lease and amazing paper trail, this roommate could end up requesting a cohabitation agreement or worse, claiming that they are common law which could entitle them to a portion of your hard-earned home. So be careful out there and protect your assets. Thank you so much for watching. You have endless choices of where you can spend your time and you chose to spend some with us. We are truly grateful. Before you go, would you please give us a like, leave a comment, share, or take a friend? It's how other people find us and what we are all about. Keeping it genuine, your realtors, the Edwards team of Todd Real Estate.